What if I told you the world's first supersonic VTOL fighter jet wasn't American, or British, but Soviet, and that it was so advanced it secretly shaped the F-35B? Meet the Yakovlev 141, NATO codename Freestyle, the USSR's answer to vertical takeoff at Mach 1.7. First flight, 1989, cancelled just two years later, not by politics, but bankruptcy. Only four prototypes ever built. Empty weight, 11,650 kilograms, length 18.36 meters, wingspan 10.1 meters. Powered by two RD-41 lift jets, 40 kilonewtons each, and one R-79 V-300 turbofan, delivering 152 kilonewtons in afterburn. Max vertical takeoff weight 15.8 tons, short takeoff 19.5 tons, range 1400 kilometers vertically, 2100 kilometers with a short roll. It flew with a triple redundant digital fly-by-wire system, cutting edge in the late 80s. Its pulse Doppler radar could spot a fighter-sized target, 3 meter squared RCS, 80 plus kilometers away, or ships at 110 kilometers track 12 targets and gauge two simultaneously, and aim them with the world's first helmet-mounted sight. Armament? A 30mm cannon, 150 rounds, plus four hardpoints. Air-to-air ranchers, R-27 or R-77 missiles. Ground strike? Ka-59M cruise missiles, Ka-31A supersonic anti-ship missiles, or Ka-35A radar-guided missiles. The Yak-141 outclassed the Harrier in speed, avionics, and firepower. And though it died in 91, Lockheed studied it closely, directly influencing the F-35B design. So, was this Soviet marvel truly lost to history? Or did its legacy take off in stealth inside America's most advanced fighter?